Hello, everyone, and welcome to the TRI Alliance short course on membership and certification benefits with the Tile Roofing Industry Alliance. My name is Lisa Jensen. I'll be one of your presenters today. A brief overview of what we're going to cover today. We'll start off with a little bit about what the Tile Roofing Industry Alliance is, the training and certification programs that we offer, and then what it means to be a member of TRI and what are the benefits and opportunities you have there with membership in our organization. So the TRI Alliance is a coalition of manufacturers of concrete and clay roof tiles. And here's a listing of the current manufacturer members. And they realized a while ago that it would be better for the industry if they work together on some things. And the three main areas where they support and contribute financially to work together is in testing, um, establishing standards for installation details, and we do that uh, by producing manuals that are code compliant, and then in training. So as an alliance in the industry, the TRI offers a variety of resources. Um, most can be found on our website, which is tileroofing.org. You'll find a variety of technical bulletins out there, some general information about tile. There's a blog where we have articles on issues that come up from time to time. All of our newsletters are out there as a copy. You can sign up for the newsletter on the website. And then we also have links to all of our social media channels, including Facebook, um, Instagram, LinkedIn, and uh, most active lately, since we've moved everything online, is our YouTube channel. So you'll find a variety of videos out there. Um, one of the other things we offer is a way to search for contractors or other professionals in the industry who have been through our certification program. And we'll talk more about that as we go on. So with that, I'm going to introduce John, who will talk more about the training that we offer. Great. Thank you very much. And uh, welcome today. Uh, I get a little bit of a different uh, opportunity because I'm both the national training manager for the Tile Roofing Indi Industry Alliance training program, but I'm also still a contractor. Uh, I still do a lot of on-the-roof work, although I'm not managing a team to re-roof. We are doing a lot of uh, inspections, uh, targeted repairs, uh, really problem solving up on the roof and to do consulting for other companies. So I'm still engaged in that way and that's really what I enjoy uh, the most. But uh, uh, we're gonna talk about our training and certification and then Lisa will come back and talk about kind of the marketing opportunities that you have in using that too. So we have a full schedule of classes right now. You'll see that there are uh, these short classes like we're having today, we're starting out the year with some, some basic uh, ideas. We're telling you what TRI is and what the benefits are and then in a couple of weeks we'll have one that's titled, This is a Tile, uh, which sounds kind of silly, but it's a great way to start for somebody new to the industry. But again, kind of like what we're going to do today, it's also very good to remind those of us that have a lot of experience that not everybody does, and we want to make sure that we're being heard and we're not just dumping too much information on them. So those are our short courses. They're free. Um, the presenters, uh, although the first two, like I say, are kind of rudimentary, our presenters are typically experts in their field. So uh, they, we focus on one presenter during this time. Uh, we have uh, the executive director from contractor associations. We have the roof industry lawyer, Trent Cotney. Uh, we have uh, social media experts, experts on snow retention, TRA Snow and Sun uh, recently did one, and foam adhesive training. So we kind of dial in on one part or component of a towel roof installation and uh, delve into it with that expert. And then in addition, once those webinars are complete, we clean them up and put them on our YouTube channel. So if you go to the Tile Roofing Industry Alliance YouTube channel, you'll find a slew of YouTube videos, short and long, some as simple as making a clip for your valley attachment, and some are, are literally two, two hours for a full presentation. But they're also uh, from very simplistic uh, details on the roof to more complex wind calculations. You can see down there at the bottom in that uh, channel of, of videos that we're looking at calculations for high wind in Florida and covering the various speeds uh, and what will be required and going through the table. So at 140, 150, 160, 170 miles an hour. So those are all there for you at, and available at any time. The other part of the schedule you see is the manual certification classes. And typically we'll have at least one high wind and one regular manual certification class on the schedule. Uh, we were excited to be going back to the classroom next week. And unfortunately, with everything going on, we have postponed that. 
and we're going to be holding those uh, trainings online. But uh, the, the manuals that we have, when we talk about a manual certification, the Tile Roofing Industry Alliance has created three manuals, two of them in partnership with uh, contractor associations. So you see on the far left, that's the regular concrete and clay roof tile installation manual. It is also the installation instructions for our manufacturers. If you go to their website, they will uh, have a, a link to go to their installation instructions. And when you click it, you will go to that manual. Uh, there may be some proprietary products that individual manufacturers have where they have additional instructions, but the foundation of the installation will be that manual in 49 states. In the 50th state in Florida, it will be the Florida High Wind Concrete and Clay Tile Installation Manual. That's the manual there in the middle. But both of those manuals were worked on and developed uh, by our tile roofing manufacturers in conjunction with a contractor's association. So with the regular manual, it was Western States Roofing Contractors Association. And in Florida, it is the Florida Roofing Contractors Association. Both of them are, again, the installation instructions for the manufacturer, and they are also code compliant, meaning we have taken them and had them reviewed by IAPMO. Uh, they're a code body organization, it used to be ICC, uh, maybe more familiar to you, but the entire manual is taken. We pay them to review it and ensure that it is code compliant. And so we have installation instructions that are code compliant uh, for both of those manuals. The last manual there you see on the far right is for cold and snow regions. And it's not really an installation manual. It is a design criteria. Uh, you'll see a lot of good information in there. There are a couple of great uh, engineers that developed that manual. And it really tags along with the regular installation manual since there's not a lot of snow and cold in Florida. And in the areas where snow retention, ice damming, and other issues with movement of snow up on the roof are a challenge, uh, this manual will cover those details. <clears throat> the two certifications, we don't have a certification for the snow and cold manual. That's really an engineering book and a design criteria book. But the two certifications we have are for the two installation manuals. And the way uh, that you complete those, the requirements for uh, getting the certification, earning the certification, is first you've got to attend a class, either online or in person. And then you'll take a test at the end of the class. The test is now online, whether we're in person or online, the test you can take online over the next 24 hours. So if you score 75% or greater, you will earn your certificate. At that point, you can download your certificate from uh, from our website. And if you get 100%, we'll share your picture and your company on Facebook. You also can earn five credit hours uh, for the organization that you would want them from. And our certificate has printed right on it the five credit hours that we've been allocated for the course. In addition, you'll need to renew your certification every two years. And that's a very short uh, 10 or 15 question online test. The reason for that is any construction industry certification needs to be renewed uh, so that when there's code changes, wind changes, uh, you know, a, a technical bulletin from us, we want to make sure we have the ability to keep people aware of that. So it's like a hundred dollar fee in a, in a short test, but it allows us to put uh, informational questions on that test to ensure you're up to speed. So the next question, if you are, you know, an experienced person in the industry, you have to ask, does the training have value? And does it mean anything to the homeowner? Both of those are very relevant questions uh, when you're spending money and your time to, to be engaged in, in training. So the first, does the training have value? I'm really proud to say that our trainers put a tremendous amount of effort into developing their skill. I can tell you that as a roofing contractor, you know, say, say 15 years ago when I was out in the field with a, with a group of guys, I was a horrible trainer. Uh, and the reason is that I'm a fully experienced person. I've been involved in the roofing industry for over 30 years. I learned what I learned over a long period of time and it kind of dripped in as you needed to learn it. And you kind of forget how much you know. And sometimes when you try to train or teach someone something new, it can be overwhelming. And so what we, what we do now is we make sure that our experts, you see a bunch of them there that want to train are also willing to learn how to train. So, you know, we've all been in a, in a session where, you know, if somebody is saying something, it's just not getting through to you. And 
And, you know, they say, well, let me explain it to you. And they do it the exact same way they just did it. We've got to figure out a way to get through to a new person who's not familiar uh, with underlayment or with tile. So we, we do start with that fundamental approach. So we're grounded in the fundamentals. The manual is the manufacturer's installation instructions. So it is our Bible in that respect. The manual is also code compliant. So we know it's important because it's used by building officials, uh, registered roof observers, con roof consultants, engineers, and architects. So it's used across the spectrum from, you know, the, the, the guy that puts the ladder up on the roof and starts to bang on underlayment up to the architect that designed the roof. So we're all working from the same book. Uh, in, and then we use a brick building method. So uh, there's a, a variety of ways you could teach the options that are available uh, to a roofer. But if we start telling you every option at every step of the path, it's very difficult for a new person to learn and sometimes even for an experienced person to, to grasp uh, what, what the options are. So we use a brick building method. We take you through roofing from point A to point B and all the way to Z and we get you to a full roof. And then we come back and look at options. We avoid jargon. We avoid our personal opinion, although personal experience is good to relate to um, everything above. But we try to avoid what we pr uh, prefer for our personal installation because it's a big country. It's a big continent. And there are a lot of different climate issues that really determine what it makes a successful roof in a given area. So when you're done, you're going to leave with a manual that's highlighted for, for your use. We're not going to ask you or expect you or, or you won't be burdened with taking pages of notes that you may or may not be able to read when you're done. We're going to give you a manual and a highlighter and we're going to go through it literally page by page, not in perfect order. But we're going to be able to highlight things that might be more relevant to you based on the climate you're in or things that, you know, words we can highlight on a page so that when you're looking for something, when you're looking for a detail of flashing, you know, on a page full of words, we can have you highlight a particular word that will help that jump out to you when you need it. And when you're done, you'll leave with confidence in what you know, because you'll know the manual has the answers and you'll know where to find them. And you'll also have confidence in what you're selling, that you know how and what you're selling so that you can explain it to a, a, a customer. Which brings us to, does it mean anything to the homeowner? Does it mean anything to the homeowner that you have a certification? Well, it does to some and it may not to others. There are price-minded people and there are quality-minded people. And there are people that want to make sure that you have some sort of industry training. And that component, that'll be the homeowner to decide if it's important. On the other hand, for me, I use the manual. I use the credibility of the Tile Roofing Industry Alliance. I use the credibility of it being the manufacturer's installation instructions when I'm selling. So if I'm trying to explain to a homeowner for the experienced people on the roof, you see a gutter, you see a sidewall detail, and you see flashing that is going to run water behind that stucco or that eave system. So if we showed that to a homeowner, they may or may not know what they're looking at. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the manual and I'm going to show that to them. You can see this is a similar detail. I'm going to focus on the part that's important and show them that what we really need to do here is kick that water out from behind that stucco. We don't want it to go down behind that wall. And we actually prefab our kickout flashes so they don't have to be manufactured out in the weather. We're going we're gonna to cut and solder that kickout flashing and provide it to our field techs so that they can replace or rehab that detail. When I'm using the manual in that way, it's giving me credibility in addition to helping them understand what it is I'm doing. If I've got a competitor and they're saying, oh, you know, we don't use the manual or we, we don't know about that. We, we've been roofing a long time and we know what we're doing. You know, really you've got to understand manufacturer's installation instructions and accept them if you're going to be successful. And when you're selling, that's going to be a very powerful tool. Another thing is that, like I said, across the country, we have very different climate conditions from high wind areas, very cold areas, extremely hot areas, humid areas. I was born and raised in Seattle, Washington, where, you know, it's cold, humid, wet. And, uh, you know, the, the, the things that work in Seattle uh, won't work the same way in Phoenix and vice versa. So there's the good when we're selling, and that's the minimum standards. We've got to meet the minimum standards. And that's what's in the manual. The minimum standard for tile roofing in our manual is probably used primarily in Southern California 
and maybe parts of Arizona, uh, you know, relatively dry, hot climates. And even there, you know, there's reason to argue that you could upgrade certain aspects of it and really improve the quality of the roof. But when I'm talking to a homeowner, I'm going to say, well, you know, good is the minimum standard. We, recognizing the climate we're in, uh, we go with a 40 pound or we use a two ply. I put a lot of two ply 30 pound uh, roofs down uh, in Seattle and now we use 40. Uh, so our standard way is better than the minimum standard. And if you really want to understand the process and we can show you why you might want a premium underneath. So when we do that, that's that good, better, best selling. But we're, again, setting ourselves apart from the run of the mill installer. And that establishes my company as a team of expert tile roofing professionals. And it says that our installation practices are code compliant because we're following the manual and that we're typically going to exceed those basic requirements. So um, there are some other uh, there are some other videos on YouTube. You can check that out. But, you know, keep that in mind. The manual is a great friend to a salesperson uh, and the drawings are easy to understand. And once you get familiar with those drawings, you can take a picture on the roof from the same angle as I did with that kickout flashing and really explain to a homeowner what it is you're going to do to their roof. And that will help you even upgrade to better quality products. And with that, I'll turn it over to Lisa. Thank you, John. So uh, now I'll give you a little bit more about my background. I am the training director of the Tile Roofing Industry Alliance. I also manage the website for TRI. And uh, prior to joining the roofing industry in 2004, which is when I married John, uh, I was in software sales and consulting. So I still have some website clients that I take care of, um, although I don't do any new sites and uh, stay, keep my hand in that uh, business. So what I'm going to talk about is membership and how it works with certification. So again, the basics, anybody can take our manual certification classes. You do not have to be a member to get certified with TRI. If you want to take the class, it's $2.99 for a non-member. Um, if you are a member, you get a discount, significant, significant discount, and the class is $1.99 per person. The certification is by individual, but in order to be listed in our search, uh, that individual needs to be part of a company. So once they're certified, they, their company will be listed in the relevant category, whether it's a contractor, a consultant, inspector, manufacturer, supplier, or other. Um, and then the names of the employees are listed also. And, and on the right is a, a sample search in the Dallas area. We show a map with the pins, and then we show more information about the company. So one of the benefits of membership now, and this started uh, effective July 1st, our membership now includes one free certification class for one person. And that can be used in either the regular manual class or the Florida manual class. And then once they are certified, members receive priority in the contractor search online. We also add a link to their website. So here I pulled up the Chicago area and you'll notice um, the map on the left and then the listings on the right. And the first thing you'll see is some of the listings at the top are shaded in green. That's our members that are featured. And they also have the logo for TRI, which means they are a member. And there's a link there to their website. Um, if you are familiar with any of the search engine optimization algorithms, uh, one of the things that can boost your company in the search engine rankings is having links um, to your website from credible organizations. And if you're working with Tile Roofing, the Tile Roofing Industry Alliance is definitely one of those organizations. So it can give you a little bit of a boost in the rankings. So those are the concrete benefits that members get uh, and that many of our members are interested in. But there's additional benefits and really opportunities um, to expand your support network by being a member of the Tile Roofing Industry Alliance. Um, we offer support through our organization, the TRIA, um, but then also the manufacturers have technical reps and sales reps who are happy to support you um, in your work with Tile Roofing. So I had a great example this week that came up and um, it was good timing for this training. I had a, an email from a homeowner 
And it happens probably a few times a week that we get an inquiry from a homeowner who's wanting to know more about tile. So he's had bids from a couple different contractors um, and he's been online doing his research. And one of the things that the contractor mentioned was that he was a member of TRI. And one of the things the homeowner noticed on the warranty from one of the component manufacturers that was an underlayment manufacturer is that TRI certification was required. So the homeowner was confused on whether this contractor qualified. So he called me. And if for the younger people in the audience, you may not recognize that first picture, um, but this is probably more likely how he called anyway. So he wanted to know, was this contractor a member and was he certified? So I checked our records and yes, indeed, he was a member. And um, I told the homeowner about the search and he didn't come up. And so I checked the records and it was because he was a member, but not yet certified. He hadn't taken advantage of that free training yet. So I turned around and called the contractor and said, hey, you know, you've got this guy checking up on you. You've got a bid out there and he wants to know if you're certified because he's read the fine print. So uh, long story short, the contractor is registered for training next week. I was able to tell the homeowner that. The homeowner then called me because he had some other questions after doing more research. I am pretty sure this guy's retired because he had a lot of time to do the research. We ended up talking for about a half an hour. The contractor had already bid the good category um, or actually the better category he had some upgrades in there, which the homeowner was happy to pay for because he was more concerned about longevity. Um, in our conversation, he asked about more details and was actually interested in the best category in some areas. So I was able to call the contractor back and say, hey, you might want to talk to this homeowner about raised battens. Um, he's really interested in longevity um, and is not concerned about paying a little bit more as long as the value's there. So it was a great example of how uh, we can help the contractors out in the field. And it's not just us, like I said, the representatives from manufacturers will do that as well. So had this homeowner called me and asked about somebody who was not a member or who had never been certified with us, that's what I would have told him is that we don't know who he is and I'm sorry, we can't help you. So that's just how being part of the organization, whether it's through certification or membership, um, can help you out in the field. So the other thing is uh, setting yourself apart from others who are out there. And um, we've been talking about the good, better, best. The fact that you know the manual and you know what the code requirements are is great. But if you can explain that in a way to the customers that they can understand um, by educating them, it builds trust with them. And they will do their research. They'll go look it up. I've had customers that have called me after they've downloaded our manufacturer's um, instructions, the installation guides, and they are looking out their window at somebody who's putting on their roof and the detail looks different than what they're seeing in the manual. Um, so they are looking and it's good if you have that knowledge of the manual and can help share it with them. Um, again, so you can sell, which will help your business. Also, a lot of customers look for those certifications now because they want to know that you invest in training. Um, they've A lot of people have had a bad experience, just like with software, a lot of people have had a bad experience with contractors. Um, and so they want to do their due diligence when they're evaluating bids. The fact that you have certifications shows your commitment to education and educating your teams. Um, and the fact that you are a member also shows your commitment to the industry which can be interpreted as longevity um, and the more you can in, uh, communicate those benefits to your customer the better it is for you um, and one thing you can point them to is just online resources whether it's your company where you have a blog and other information out there um, stories testimonials our website where we have lots of information about tile roofing um, and then again, the manual, which shows all of the minimum standards, and you can talk to them about those upgrades. So that's it. That's the basics on membership and certification, uh, and also a little bit about the Tile Roofing Industry Alliance. Uh, as we've mentioned, our website is full of information, and our YouTube channel has more videos uh, with more specific details in different categories. And we are always here to answer questions. All of our contact information is on the website. 
Um, the other person up there is Rick Olson, our president and technical director. If it's not something we can explain directly from the manual and it goes beyond that, um, we often refer people to Rick directly. Um, he is the one who writes all of the technical bulletins that are out there on the website.